Well, happy Friday to you, lovely ladies and gentlemen. Steve Collins coming to you from cloudy San Antonio, Texas, the second most powerful, passionate, purposeful coach and speaker in the world. Hope you guys are ready to rock and roll this Friday. Don't get your feelings hurt. We're going to have a conversation. I'm intentional about the titles of my videos. Overweight, sad, jealous, bitter, angry, lonely, frustrated, hopeless. Well, you got exactly what you were looking for. And uh, I'd like to explain that to you with the hope being a catalyst for you to decide today to be in agreement with what I am going to share with you. So let's first begin with a simple statement. You get to keep all the limitations you fight for. All the limitations you fight for, you actually get to keep those and you get to possess those and you get to experience those things. Now, let me just give you a caveat up front so that somebody doesn't get butt hurt real quick. I know if something tragic happened, there's a season of sadness. There, there are appropriate times to experience emotions that are part of who we are as people. My desire is to help people who do not realize that they may have been in that vibe for several years and it may have indeed developed into your identity. Now, you may not know that that's your identity, but your friends and family do. They know because they're like, oh, here comes Debbie down or look away, look away. Don't make eye contact. Don't make eye contact. Don't make eye contact because they don't want to get slimed or they're tired of hearing the same sad, sad story. You may not even realize that you have an identity wrapped around an external circumstance or situation that occurred to you and I will not minimize any of them. I will simply say that I think you forgot that you are getting exactly what you're looking for. Now, nobody finds himself at 400 pounds and says, this was exactly what I was after, Bob. I'm so excited I hit the big 400. That does not happen. Over time, small choices and small decisions compound. It's a compounding effect. For those of you that are interested in finances, it's like compounding interest. When it hits, it just hits really big. There's a statement, gradually, 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 then suddenly, it may be a long runway, but once that baby gets off the ground, you are flying and stuff's happening that is now habitual. So what are you experiencing by way of negativity that is not serving you, your family, your friends, or your goals well at all? What is it? Help me understand. What is it? Here's my voice to you today. If you don't like it, you don't have to keep it. You have the power to decide what you are going to experience by what goes into here. Zig Ziglar said it this way. You are what you are and where you are because of what has gone into your mind. If you want to change what you are and where you are, change what goes into your mind. Do you realize you're basically a couple of Google searches away from the perfect plan to accomplish pretty much whatever it is that you intend to accomplish? I mean, come on, the information age. What you have likely succumbed to is the habit of rote robotic existence where you no longer question yourself. The philosophers of ages spoke regularly about the miserable life being that life that does not have reflection or introspection or acknowledgement that things can change. And like Jim Rohn says, for things to change, you got to change. For things to get better, you got to get better. The improvement comes in you first before it shows up in your life. It's not just going to knock at your door and be all, hey man, I'm a great attitude and I'm here today to tell you, let me jump on you, baby, because we're going to wreck this thing. Woo! I've been waiting for you all these years. No, sir. It's not going to happen. Hey, how's it going? I am wealth. I'm about to give you a big old hug. We're going to be balling. Y'all going to have some serious coin. Let's grow. Your money is here. 
No, it's not going to happen. Hey, how you doing? I'm a great marriage. It's going to be amazing. You guys are going to be passionate like when you first got married, you know, before you went on your honeymoon when things were all hunk door. We're going right back there. Here I am. None of that's going to knock on your door. You are going to need to leave the door and go research and change, as Zig Ziglar says, again, take this in, ladies and gentlemen. You are what you are and where you are because of what has gone into your mind. If you want to change what you are and where you are, you must change what goes into your mind. I spoke about it earlier this week, that what you tend to put your focus on is what is going to increase and you are going to get more of. Where is your focus? Is your focus on what you are lacking? Is your focus on what somebody else has that you don't? Are you comparing your behind the scenes crap to their amazing highlight reels? What are you focusing on? By the way, by the way, the world, advertising, marketing, friends, family, have your little old head and they are turning it around like some kind of a little, uh, what do you call it thing, a puppet. You are a puppet if you are experiencing on a long-term basis any of those experiences or emotions that I put into the front of the video. This is your choice. You are choosing to remain. If, well, but Steve, you don't know what they did to me. There's no way I can get over to that. Yes, you can. And let me show you how you do it. Lord, I forgive them. Forgiving them doesn't mean I'm okay with what they did. Forgiving them doesn't mean it doesn't hurt anymore. Forgiving them doesn't mean we're good. Forgiving them doesn't mean that we're going to get along now. Forgiving them doesn't mean that I'm cool. Forgiving them doesn't mean that it doesn't hurt when I think about it. Forgiving them is setting me free from the prison I built for them to make them pay, but I'm the one locked in it. So I forgive them because it is wise and I would like you to forgive me because I remember in the Lord's Prayer where it says, Lord, forgive them as they forgive us as we forgive those who trespass against us. Oh my goodness, Lord, do you mean to tell me that my forgiveness of all my crap from you is conditional on how I forgive other people? Yep, it is. So you yeah, let it go. That's how you do it. Ah, I just saved you a lot of time, effort, and energy and problems, ladies and gentlemen. Let it go. Let it go doesn't mean you're okay with it. It just means that you are setting yourself free from the prison that you set up for them to trap them in. Just get out of it. So ladies and gentlemen, let me wrap up with this. Whatever you're experiencing or feeling right now, it's because of what's going into your mind, what you're in agreement with, what you're thinking about on a regular basis. If you don't like who you are or where you are or what you are, you can change who you are, what you are, where you are by changing what goes into your mind. You do not have to be the puppet whose head's being spun around in all directions by influences outside you. You can choose what influences speak into your life. That's why I celebrate you and I spending these mornings together. I pray that in the mornings, I wake you up, fire you up, that I'm better than bulletproof coffee and help you get started on the day with your mindset right. Understanding, I have the power to choose what I put in my mind. I have the power to decide what I'm gonna focus on. You ain't gonna control my life. Uh-uh, you ain't gonna do it. I can't get my neck to do it right. I look white as heck, don't I? Anyway, you know what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. You get to choose. You get to decide. It's your choice. No one is forcing your face or your ears to listen to anything. It's your choice. Make a powerful choice today, ladies and gentlemen, and choose to live a bigger life. Have a great day, guys.